tonight. It's absolutely beautiful, and uh, you know, most of tomorrow is going to be absolutely great, but there is a risk of severe weather for parts of Oklahoma for late Sunday. We're going to time it all out for you, but looking outside, there's Britton Road. Uh, that's Lake Hefner, and again, a beautiful evening. Not too hot. Not too muggy. The dew point is at 66 right now. We'll talk about this here in just a second, but the air temperature is at 76 after a high today of 85. Humidity, you can use a relative humidity. I like to use a dew point because it doesn't change a lot during the day. The relative humidity, it, it gets really high in the morning, and the relative humidity usually goes down during the day because the air temperature is going up. But uh, the dew point, easy way to measure what the, you know, apparent feel like humidity on your body. And the dew point tomorrow will be about 65. Tropical is about 70. We don't have to worry about that quite yet. But as we get into next week, we're going to see higher heat. So get ready for that. A lot of the 90s showing up next week. Temperatures across central Oklahoma, 75 for Midwest City. Shawnee, I, I always stand in front of you. I'm right handed, I always stand in front of you. There you go. You need some maritime there. 73 to come to 77. Okarchi looking good at 77. And off to the west, 76 for Clinton and Enid coming in at 73. Low temperatures for your Sunday morning. How about some mid to upper 60s? And with high humidity tomorrow morning, high relative humidity, you're going to look for a lot of clouds. And there might even be a little fog for tomorrow morning. It doesn't last very long. The afternoon's looking great, especially if you like the heat. Highs, upper 80s, the lower 90s. Oh, by the way, going out on the lake tomorrow, a little breezy. South winds gusting 25 to 30 miles an hour. Here's Advantage Doppler 3D. We're dry right now. Closest showers and thunderstorms way out in Colorado, and they're not going to make it here for tonight, even though they're turning a little bit to the right, kind of diving to the southeast. Don't really need to worry about that. Uh, but eventually, we're going to get some storms in here. So the outlook for tomorrow afternoon, if the map is brown, you're enjoying a dry afternoon. There's a 20% chance for storms out in the panhandle. And what we'll look for into the late afternoon, early evening, about 7 o'clock, we're going to look for storms to develop in that area, Panhandle, southwestern Kansas. They'll spread to the east and turn to the right and clip northern Oklahoma Sunday night into early Monday morning with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Down south, you're dry. Up north, you have the best chance of rain, but still not locked in guaranteed rain chances. But one thing that we need to watch is the risk of severe weather in Kansas, and obviously that's out of our area, but the Panhandle, northwestern Oklahoma, you do have a risk of severe weather. Main concern, large hail and damaging winds up to 70 miles. Miles an hour. The tornado risk is really low for tomorrow, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll track that for you throughout the evening and the overnight. Here's the predictor 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. There are the clouds I'm talking about, so pretty cloudy to start your Sunday. The heat, the sun, and the winds all come out and scour those clouds away. By 5 o'clock, storms up in Kansas. Watch northwestern Oklahoma. Here come the storms 8 o'clock north of Woodward, clipping northern Oklahoma. There you go during the overnight. There's 1 a.m. And then during early morning hours coming into Oklahoma City. After 8 a.m. Monday, we'll be dry for a while, but then the weather pattern will change for a good thing. We need, this, we need this, the summer rains, we need the June rains, and as we get into next weekend, a weather front, a cold front, will stall right over Oklahoma, and it'll be the focal point for heavy rain. The darker the color of the green, the higher the chance of rain. I don't want to put numbers on the maps yet because it's way out there, but we're talking widespread two inches, isolated areas up to four. I won't say exactly where, but this is the... Uh, the weather system to watch to bring us some much needed rain uh, going into uh, June. Forecast for tonight fog moves in for tomorrow morning. 68 is your low, 72 at 8 a.m., mostly cloudy. Break out the sunglasses for the afternoon. You're going to need them. Lunchtime, 80 degrees. High is 88. South winds, 15 to 25. There's that 20% chance late Sunday night for OKC. That's like 11 p.m. And then that 30% chance early Monday morning before daybreak. Here comes the heat, lower to mid 90s. We can handle that. And then Thursday night, here comes our chance of storms real late. And then that weather front stalls right over us and it's going to bring us three glorious days of rain. I know it's on your weekend, but that's okay. We need the rain. 60% chance the red panels representing a risk of severe weather, both Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, mainly winds. With the cloud cover and the rain, the high humidity highs will only be in the 80s, and they'll warm up a little bit for the start of the following week. And you're up to date with the latest First Alert forecast.